I can't give you back what you've lost, even if I wanted to. You will fill this hole, whether you like it or not. Willow definitely loves Sookie, and the way he turns on her is not meant to turn him into suddenly just a monolithic bad guy. I do believe Warlow loves Sookie. I think he's obsessively in love with Sookie. But after 5,000 years, he is losing patience with these mortals. And he also knows that in time, she will come around to understand that herself. I think he's in a desperate, desperate place. He's not gonna give up on it now, despite the fact that he's terrorizing and terrifying his future bride. Take care, Sookie. Bill tries to do right by Sookie as well. So trying to get back to the heart of that relationship is the thing that I think is most interesting. He's accomplished what he was supposed to accomplish, but at the expense of the one thing that he's always only cared about, which was Sookie. When he goes to save Sookie, he has only one goal, and that's to rescue her. His own welfare is of no concern. It's an indication of how far he has come as a character, and we will start to recognize Bill Compton as the Bill Compton we came to know in the first two or three seasons. Go! Leave me! Eric is a character who you might think has had no compassion or sense of commitment or love, but he did. His investment was in his sister. He goes back home and he's really just checked out. And one thing that he's critically unaware of is that the blood that is in his body that allows him to walk in the daylight becomes ineffectual once Warlow dies, and Warlow does die. He is in a very, very vulnerable situation with no ability to hide. He has no choice but to burn, and he does burn. You are coming to bed. It's okay, and I'll see it have had definite chemistry and tension for a couple of seasons now. It's interesting actually with Sookie because everyone wants to think that no matter what she'll go in the direction of danger because she can't help herself, but she's grown up. So it makes sense that now would be the time that they give each other a try. All I know is they look domesticated and they seem to love each other. So that can't possibly last. There's going to be some shift there, but it's nice to at least start from that place. You need protection. She's got me. You're not good enough. Mm -hmm. True Blood started with the idea that vampires could come out of the coffin because of True Blood. Now True Blood is a moot point. And so we're basically saying this is a different world that we're living in and then all the rules are going to change. The problem is right outside in the woods on its way. And that's how we end the season is that while they're actually trying to create a defense, but certainly before that defense is in place, the horde has arrived. So it's a good idea that might be just a few minutes too late. It's an exciting ending. I don't know what the outcome will be, but it can't be all good. Thank <laughs> you.